Why hello there and welcome to my room tour slash setup video 2020 I guess we'll call it that or something I don't even know But let's head over here because this is I'm sure what all you guys actually want to see Um, so might as well just start with this and then you can click off because that's yeah anyway So here's the setup the um full setup here um the table is just something cheap from ikea from about 20 years ago or something the chair is also just a cheap chair but it is actually a very comfortable chair for the money so it's definitely worth it um my main monitor is a alienware something or other i will put it in the description it doesn't really match the rest of the setup because it's white but i guess the table is a light color so it doesn't look too bad my second monitor is just a cheap Samsung monitor I got at Walmart at some point Definitely does the job. They're both 1080p this one being 244 Hertz this one I'm, I think is maybe about 60 Hertz. I'm not really too sure um, The picture quality on this one is fantastic. Although with just multitasking they both look pretty decent um, Let's move over here. I guess oh well, well before we get to the PC keyboard is a Corsair Something not really too sure my mouse is a Corsair Something mouse pad just a steel series mouse pad um, And now for the computer got to get into the computer here. So here's the computer. It's actually a Mac That's actually just a terrible joke. No, I can't it's too cringy. All right <laughs> so inside we have a RTX 2080 super uh, it has a Ryzen 9 3900 X it has about four terabytes of RAM I mean <laughs> Four terabytes of, of storage and 64 gigabytes of RAM. Um, if you there is a video on my channel of me actually building this computer, so if you want to see that, you can click in the description. I'll put the video there or something, or maybe a pop out or whatever, whatever YouTubers do these days. Um, so yeah, it also has a one terabyte external that I use for storing videos and stuff like that. And um, I guess if for those aspiring creators out there, I'll get into the YouTube setup side of this. Now, if you're on a budget. This is probably the best setup you can have for uh, a mic, like a proper mic quality to get out of the USB mics. Because the problem with USB mics is that they're good mics, but the USB cords themselves, they, they tend to carry a lot of um, static noise if the cord is not absolutely perfect in pristine condition. Even if you buy an expensive cord, they tend not to sound good. So I definitely recommend getting away from the USB mics and getting yourself a proper compressor mic. Now, this mic with the microphone, the boom arm, the pop filter, everything you see here is $40 American. $60 Canadian is what I paid for this whole setup um, for just the mic. Now, this mic on its own is pretty good. However, it is not very customizable. You can't change your gain and you will get some electrical noise. So, to solve that problem, you 100% need a mixer. If you're gonna to switch to a compressor mic, you need a mixer because you need this mic to be able to get phantom power. So that way you get rid of that electrical noise and also you can get a higher crisper sound quality. Um, so this was a bit more expensive. This is about 150 American. And I would say that this is probably the cheapest, best um, mixer you can get. This is a Focusrite, a Scarlett Focusrite. It comes with its own software. It's very easy to use. Uh, you have your gain here. Uh, you can see at the bottom there, you can set your phantom power, um, AIR, AIR, direct monitoring, all that. Very easy to use, and you have to use the software with this. If you use this without its software, it, it's a bit wonky. It doesn't work too well. But this is a fantastic system. Very very reliable. I've had this system set up now for about, well, with, with the mic, I've had this for about six months now. The setup is, is very new. I only finished setting this up about a week ago. Um, and, um, yeah, so this, well, this is my phone. I just got an iPhone 12 max pro something or other. Um, I have a, my headphones are just a very cheap pair of turtle beaches. These headphones are so reliable. I've had these headphones for probably like six or seven years now. I've had them since like Xbox, I think like 2013, like when the Xbox one first came out, I got these headphones for like Christmas or something. And I've, I've had them ever since and they're just super they're really reliable the sound quality is like meh but they're super reliable and back here we have the xbox one first gen and alienware skinned one it sounds pretty cool when you turn it on i don't know where that sound effect is in cod but that's the custom sound you get i have a very nice speaker system this is also if you're looking for a good speaker system on a budget 
no, not even on a budget. They're both two two hundred and fifty dollars, I think, three hundred dollars Canadian, something like that. Um, they're THX certified. They're Logitech something. I'll leave a link in the description to them. They also come. Let me move this chair. They come with a sub down there, and then you can see my uh, wire situation here. I have used Velcro to kind of fix some of it, but yeah. Uh, let me play some audio here. Maybe you guys can kind of see how nice these speakers are. I'll turn the bass, crank the bass all the way up, and uh, there we go. They go very loud. All right, that's that's definitely very loud. I can feel the floor shaking. Um, <laughs> I'll leave a picture on the screen right now that shows this setup at nighttime because it does look pretty cool at night with the lights and the computer and all that. Um, this RGB light strip is also very cheap. I got this off of Amazon for, geez, I don't know, it was like 20 bucks or something. So definitely worth it. It really livens up the room. And um, yeah, so I'm sure you're probably gonna click off now because that's the end of the that's the end of that setup. Now let's get on to the the rest of the room here. Um, oh well, I also have this speaker back here, which I don't really use anymore, but I do have that there as an old speaker. Um, we'll look take a look at this view that we have from here. Um, as you can see, it's mostly just all forest. It is starting to get dark. It's only 4 p.m., but it gets dark now very quickly in the winter winter months. So uh, yeah, there's the backyard, all that. Hopefully nobody can find out where I live just by seeing that. But if you do, that's just impressive. We'll move back over here and start restart the uh, from the beginning of the room. Uh, here's my nightstand, which I have a um, Mac Mini on for some reason that I've literally never opened. It's still in the plastic wrap. I don't know if that will come up on cam. I have a my camera that I used on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a D. 3200 body and the lens is a Sigma 18 to 300 millimeters something or other very nice lens um, You can pick one of these lenses up for like Seven probably five hundred dollars now. They've probably gone down. I bought that lens a, a couple years ago. I have my Kleenex here to blow my nose with um, Moving on we have up here my nothing really I have a, a authentic Darth Vader lightsaber that I don't know when I put that there It's just been sitting there and then a Porsche hat all my clothes in here. And then here I have just a pile of uh, sound foam, which I'm eventually gonna put up all along the back there. I don't I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. It's literally been sitting here for a long time now and I just have no idea what to do with it. Um, yeah, so then there's my bed. There's my bed, lovely. And over there, if plugged into the wall is my Nikon battery charger thingy-mabobber. There's the light plug. There's an Alienware backpack that came with my laptop. Garbage can. Nice. And then here is my shelf of many things, which is kind of just a bunch of junk that gets piled up here. And then I eventually move it to somewhere else. It's mostly just cords. I got a nice pair of headphones here. These are RHA headphones. These were expensive. They were more expensive than my speakers. They were like $290. Um, they are very, 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 very good headphones. If you're looking for like a really nice pair of like earbuds, not headphones, earbuds, these are fantastic. They are actually so, so good. And they come with a three-year warranty standard too. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much just all, all junk. I got some creature merch here. I wear that hat often. I got the box down here for the lightsaber, GoPro mounts, um, an Oculus Quest is in there. And I have a, a router for some reason just sitting there. Um, this is the mic thing that comes with the, the, the mic setup I have. This is what originally comes with it. So you can plug it in your mic into there and then plug this into the computer. But this is not good. Definitely get a mixer. All right, moving on up here. I have my old phone. It's a Google Pixel. Lovely. I have Canadian money. Um, I have some yens here from Japan. I have a Samsung smartwatch, some USB sticks, whatever. Got iPhone boxes and uh, Game of Thrones book, which I started and have started started about two years ago now because I just haven't gone around to actually finish reading it. Um, moving on to the bathroom. This is where I go to the bathroom. Um, here's a sink. Nothing much to say about that. It's a nice sink. We've got my speaker here that I used to listen to music in the shower. I love music. That's why I got, I got so many speakers and stuff just laying around. 
So this is a Bose something or other. Here's my shower and uh, my shower curtain. It's just a reminder in case I forget <laughs> before I get in the shower. Toilet, very simple stuff. Um, robe and then my closet, which I don't even think you can see in there. There we go. It's just filled mostly with clothes, suitcases, some exercise stuff I use. I like hook it up there and do pull-ups and stuff. Um, and then my camera bag, an old Harry Potter um, Lego set, like really old. It's like the old like train, the train one. And then I have a Ferrari steering wheel up there, a Ferrari steering wheel um, for racing games. And that's pretty much about it for the room tour. There's really not much else to show. Um, it is getting darker. Oh, wow, it's, it, I've only been filming for like 10 minutes and it's already dark again outside. But yeah, that's that's the room tour. Oh, I, I don't know if I showed my clock. My very old iHome clock with the old iPhone plug. Um, but yeah, that's my room tour. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like rating and consider subscribing. And if you'd like to see a full house tour, let me know and I can maybe, maybe do something like that and we can just go through the whole place. I don't know. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like rating, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Goodbye.